Okay, I started digging back over there, and as I go, I fill it back in. You know, that way when somebody comes down here, this is a, a decent spot. I might want to come back later, you know, a year from now. So I don't want it showing that somebody was there. Alright, I got tired of classifying this uh, new matting. I was thinking, holy smokes, you know, I had the water up blasting through it. I thought I wasn't catching any gold. I cleaned it out. <laughs> it's catching gold. So it don't matter how fast the water or how deep the water is, it's working. I switched back to my old bedrock, downdraft, and razorback only because I don't have to classify. I just throw the shit in the bucket, run it through, I don't have to classify. So, you know, I'll show you, I got to help a rock through every now and then. But this is a, the cat's meow on a sluice setup. You know, the water can be variable speeds. You don't have to be real fast, don't have to be real slow. It can be deep, it can be shallow. This is my preferred mat. Now, I do have a couple loose ones. Just over time of using it. That, uh... I think I will try that new mat in it. Take out the, the loose ones. I think I'll also put a, some matting in the flare of that other one. Just to kind of catch the gold as soon as it hits. You know, I can, I can go through five gallon buckets in no time at all with this. You know, because once you get that shit start to roll, it, it's going. You know, and it cleans out quick, you know. So, it's just all around my favorite combination, mat combination. You know, like I said, I got great big rocks in there. Just toss them out. I mean... The biggest problem with most river sluices is you have to classify it down to, to get it. You know, and if I was in a spot where there's like 80 pieces of pan, I would probably classify it down to quarter inch. But where it's only, you know, 10, 20 pieces of pan, it really don't matter. I mean, I don't give a shit if I lose gold. I have a hard time finding any down at the very bottom. So, if I lose it, it's only one, two, three pieces, you know. So, but, I'm going to finish this bucket. Then I'm going to take a load of shit up to the truck. Then I come down and clean it out go down and use the hog pan on a few spots. There's a nice old clay ball there. But when I lift this thing up, you'll be amazed. All the gold that's just right there. You know, and I like to give it a, a little hard splash right there to let that gold drop through. I don't give a shit how small it is, it drops pretty fast.
Uh, you just make sure that you don't have no big rocks hung up there. Normally, once you get them moving down there, they they go. Really active. A lot of garnets in here. Looks like some lead, some gold. I mean, this is some good stuff. You know, and I, I ain't even go like this. I mean, I can get that loose shit up out of there. I don't worry about losing gold. I believe in these maps. You know, I gotta camouflage that little spot I did. Haul a load of stuff, pick up my cans, and get a load of shit up there. I wanna test pan a couple spots down in here. You know, this is running just a foot wide right along that brush line. One or two pieces per pan down here, it ain't worth screwing with. But. All right. But I don't know. I try to clean this out. Take everything back up one trip. I'm going to take the camera off here in just a second and show you all the gold up there. I got to build a different stand for that other one. Put that gun down in there to pull it. So we gun in right. Anyway, I don't know if you see it. This is just loaded full of fine gold. I'm going to go down here because I'm not classifying. If you classify, everything will be in the very top. Let's get this off here. But hopefully my battery stays long enough to show you this clean out. Drill my holes a little bit bigger in that.